Hi, I'm Jess Perriam from the Sociology Discipline. This year marks the 60th anniversary of Irving Goffman's book, The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life. Irving Goffman was a Canadian sociologist and ethnographer who studied and worked in the UK and North America throughout the 20th century. In his book, he talks about how people interact with one another in social settings, and he often uses the analogy of a theatre to help us understand the ideas he's putting forward. So one of the core ideas that Goffman focuses on is around performance. Goffman deliberately uses words associated with the theatre and drama to encourage us to reflect on our own interactions with others. He describes people as actors who perform a front stage version of ourselves in public social settings. In contrast, our backstage version is relaxed or perhaps preparing for our next performance. He suggests that when we're interacting with people, we're actors who perform according to what our fellow actors are doing, or how we want to be perceived and what else is happening in that setting at the time. Goffman gives us an example of this with staff serving customers at a hotel restaurant in the Shetland Islands back in the 1950s. In this example, he describes how workers are courteous in front of the customers and giving them a fine dining experience. This is what Goffman calls the front stage setting, and he explains that workers perform in this way so that customers believe they're in an exceptional setting and having an authentic hotel experience. But behind closed doors in the restaurant kitchen, these same workers may misbehave, mock their customers, or eat local food rather than that that's been served to the diners. So what does this mean in the 21st century? While Irving Goffman's work predates the internet by decades, we can now use his theories to think about how we interact with one another in digital settings. So perhaps sometimes with social media, it can feel like you're an actor in front of many audiences. And in some ways, Goffman's work can help us understand our discomfort when we post something online and get an unexpected reaction to it. It can also give us a sense of relief when navigating digital settings, especially around the tendency to present ourselves in a particularly positive light on social media. Goffman's work gives us a vocabulary to observe these interactions and understand what, what might be going on beneath the surface. But of course, there are limits to how much we can apply Goffman's work to the digital era. But this allows social scientists today the ability to build on this work and investigate the gaps left behind. Join us for our second year module, Understanding Digital Societies, from 2020 onwards to find out more.